Now that you're familiar with the Tinkercad interface, it's time to add an Arduino so you can turn the LED on and off. Click the Tinkercad logo in the top left corner to go back to the main screen. Then, click Create New Circuit to create another circuit. Again, remember to give your circuit a new name, like My First Arduino Circuit. Scroll down in the components list until you see the breadboard and the Arduino. Click and drag to add each one to your circuit. Rotate each one 90 degrees so the writing is upright. Technically, this is a matter of personal preference. Your circuit will still work fine if you leave them horizontal. A breadboard makes it easier to connect lots of wires and connect things to the Arduino. Holes on the breadboard are identified by a letter for the column and a number for the row. For example, this is hole C5. When you hover your mouse over a hole in the breadboard, Tinkercad will highlight the other holes that are connected to that one. Most of the holes are connected in sets of five. However, the long strips on the side of the breadboard, called buses or rails, are connected along the entire length of the breadboard. The buses are used to provide power to your circuit. When working with an Arduino, you typically do this by connecting the Arduino's 5-volt pin to the positive bus and the ground pin to the negative bus. You can do this by clicking to add wires. But remember, it's better to color code your wires and route them so your circuit isn't messy. So don't just put two green wires straight from the Arduino pins to the buses. Here, I'm going to double click to add some bend points to bend these wires around the Arduino. I'm also going to color code the wires, red for positive and black for negative. Note that the buses on opposite sides of the breadboard are not connected to each other. For example, when I hover my mouse over this bus, it shows that it's only highlighting these holes. So you need to add additional wires to connect the buses on opposite sides of the breadboard. I'm going to do that with a red wire to connect the two positive buses and a black wire to connect the two negative buses. This is the basic setup you will use for many of your Arduino circuits.